Dear students, welcome to Divya Smart Solutions. Today we are going to discuss chapter 6, squares and the square roots, exercise 6.3. Question number 7. The students of class 8 of a school donated rupees 2401 in all for Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. Each student donate as many uh, rupees as the number of students in the class. Find the number of students in the class. So we need to find the number of students in the class, right? So the number of students, we can take it as x. Let x be the, we are going to find the number of students. That one we can take it as x. So let x be the number of students. x be the number of students. So how much amount they contributed together? 2401, right? That means donated amount. Donated amount is equal to rupees 2401. So, uh, here they are given uh, donated money. Uh, how? What is the condition? Each student donated as many as the number of students in the class. So, if, if it is X students in the class, means how much money one student donate? X rupees. So, how, uh, how we can uh, write the donated money? X into X. That is given, right? Each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class. We are taking number of students in the class as x. So, x be the number of students means that much of money each student is uh, contributing. Right. So, how we can write the uh, money donated we can write it as uh, money donated. This one we can express as x into x. Number of students into each number is contributing same number of students am amount of money. Right. That means this one we can write it as x into x. That is equal to what? x square. That is x square equal to 2401. Right. So from here we can find the value of x. Right. x square is given. How we can find the value of x square? We need to find the square root. That means square root of 2401. 1. Square root means two numbers we need to pair up. Right. So we can find the factors of 2401 uh, in 7's table. 7 3s are 21. Uh, 37 4s are 28. 21 7 3s are 21. 3 43 again. 7. 7 4s are 28. 63. 7 9s are 63. 7 7 is 49. So this is equal to root of factors are 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. So square, square root means two numbers we need to pair. Right. So from these two pair one number we can write outside. 7 into 7 that is equal to 49. So that is the number of students. Right. So the number of students is equal to therefore number of students equal to 49. Nine. Answer. Next year, question number 8. Question number 8. 2025 plants are to be planted in a garden in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. So number of rows and uh, in a way. Each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. So, number of plants in a row is same as what? The total number of rows. Correct. Find the number of rows and the number of plants in each row. That both, are, that both are X only. Right. So, that only we are going to find out. That means we can take, let X be the number of rows of plants. Pl uh, X be the number of rows. X be the number of rows. Rows and uh, then one more X. Right. Again we can take X. That means it is given only. No need to write also. That means here it is given um, each one. What is the condition is given? Number of rows and the number of plants in each row. Correct. The number of rows and the number of plants in each row. So that means X be the number of plants in each row both are same only that's that's why we are taking both are x that is given right here it is given that in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows so number of plants in a row and the number of rows are also equal that's why we are taking both are x so what is given 
uh, total number of plants, right? So total number of plants means what? Number of rows into number of plants in each row. That is the total number of plants. Correct. That means x into number of rows into then number of plants in each row. That is also x. x into x is equal to it is given as 2025. That means x square. x square is equal to 2025. So from here we can find the value of x. That means square root of 2025. We can take the factors. 2025. 5 tables. 5 fours are 20. 0. Then by means we are not able to take this 2 alone. So we need to check next number means we need to keep on 0. Then 5 fives are 25. Again, 5 stable. 5 8s are 41. Correct. Again. Um, again with the uh, 3. 27. With the 3. 9 3s are 27. 3, 3. Okay. So that means this is equal to root of 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Square root means 2, 2 numbers we need to pair up. Then one number we can write outside. That means 5 into 3 into 3. 3, 3 is 9. 9 into 5 is 45. So we got the value of x as 45. That means the, what we need to find out? Number of rows. Therefore, number of rows equal to 45 and number of plants in each row is also equal to 45. Number of plants in each row is also 45. Answer. Question number 9. Find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. That means we are going to find the one is square number that number should be divided by 4, 9 and 10. So in order to find this condition first we need to find the LCM of this number. What are the numbers 4, 9 and 10. So we can find the LCM. LCM of 4, 9 10. So we are going to find the LCM of 4, 9 and 10. So we can write like this 4, 9 and 10. 2, 2 are 4. 9, 5, 2 are 10. Then and nothing won't go right. So 2 into 2 is 4. 4 into 5 is 20. 20 into 9 is 180. So LCM of 4, 9 and 10 is 180. Right. Now we get the LCM of this 4, 9, 10 as the 180. So what we need to find? We need to find the smallest square number that should be divided by 4, 9 and 10. Right. So once we get the LCM of this number means we need to find the factors of this 180. So we can write the prime factors or factors of factors of 180. Eighty means how we can add easy way. 180 means 18 into 10 is 180. Right. That means 18 means what? 9 into 2. 9 we can write as 3 into 3. That is 9 into 2. And 5, 10 we can write as 5 into 2. So what are the factors of 180? The factors of 180 is 3 into 3 into 2 into this 2 also I am writing together 2 into 5. So that means this 3, 3, 2, 2. This 5 is standing alone. Correct. This 5 have no pair over here. That means the 5 has no pair. Therefore, what we need to do? Therefore, 180 must be multiplied by 5. Then only we can make it as a perfect square, right? If it is perfect square, means what all the numbers are 2, 2 numbers there. The pair should be there. This, is, this 5 have no pair means what we need to do? We need to multiply this 180 with the 5. To make it as a perfect square number. Right. So what here we need to write. The 5 has. You should write the statement. The uh, 5 has no pair. Therefore 180 must be multiplied by 5. To make it as a perfect square number. That means 180 into 5. 0. 8 are 44. 900. So we got the number as 900. That means 900 is the smallest square number. Which is divisible by 4, 9 and 10. So if you have doubt means we can verify 900 by 4. 4 twos are 8, 1, 10. 4 twos are 8, 20. 5 fours are 20. That means that is possible, divisible. Next step, 900 by 9. 900 by 9 is what? 100. That is also possible. Next step, 900 by 10. 
what we will get 90 that means that division is possible so the smallest in square number which is divisible by 4 9 and 10 is 900 answer question number 10 find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 8 50 20 here also we need to find the smallest square number so first we need to find lcm of this 8 15 and 20 8 50 20 lcm this one uh, 5 stable we can take 8 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 again we can take it as 4 4 twos are 8 3 4 ones right then 5 into 4 is 20 20 into 3 into 2 is 6 20 into 6 is 120, 120. So LCM is 120. So next we are going to write the factors of 120, right? Factors, prime factors of 120. 120 means how we can write 12 into 10 is 120. 12, 12 is how we can write 6 into 2. 6 means 3 into 2, that is 6 into 2. Then 10 we can write as 5 into 2. So otherwise, like this, factors we can find out. Anyway, we can find out. This 120 means 3 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 2. Correct. Here, this only one, uh, 2, 2 is the only one pair. This 3 is standing alone. This 5 is standing alone. And this 2 is also standing alone. Correct. That means this 2, 3, 5 have no pair. So, what we need to do? We need to multiply with uh, this 3 along with 1, 3. This 5 along with 1, 5. This 2 along with 1, 2. Then only that become a perfect square number, right? So, we, what we need to write? This 3, 2, 3 and 5 has no pair. Therefore, 120 must be multiplied with 3, 5 and 2. Make it as a perfect square number, right? So, 5 into 3 is 15. 15 into 2 is 30. So, 12 into 3 is 36. So, 3600 we will get. So, the perfect square number is what? 3600. That means the smallest square number which is divisible by 8, 15 and 20 is 3600. Once you get the answer, we can verify this one with the, uh, you should make uh, 3600 divided by 8. That is possible. We can verify 3600 divided by 8. Uh, 4, 4, 2s are 8. 9, 4s are 36. Again, 2. That is possible. 450. That is divisible next year 3600 divided by 15 15 twos are 30 60 15 fours are 60 240 that is also divisible next year 3600 divided by 20 0 0 this 2 1 8 1 8 that is also divisible that means our answer is correct only